driving the Peugeot on our way to Jardin du Mare. It's gonna be, remember to turn the lights off after you stop, check the water, make sure we're hydrated and the car, and get ready for some serious waves that we're about to experience that hopefully I'm ready for. We'll see, see how much I can handle. Look at that valley. Dude, there's my old car. I had an Opal Corsa, that was it. But it, it was even older than that one. I don't even know, I can't even pass this. I'm like pretending I can pass this car. Dude, you come out of a tunnel and there's vineyards and banana fields and potatoes and houses. In Cabo Geral, the second highest cliff in Europe where you can stand on a glass platform with a bunch of tourists buy sweatshirts. But when I first came to Madeira Island and I was going to Jardin de Mar and I saw all these gardens, I thought, this speaks to me. This is kind of like what I envision of an ideal type of way of life. Just water going meandering through these waterways called Nevadas, feeding every garden. Just the, the intricacies of how they developed this island over 500 years to maximize the use of the land, the quality of the soil to produce all this food for years and years and years, and just the simplicity of the life that many of the rural uh, farmers and people uh, how they lived. And we, we, we talk about the surfs were surfing and the concept there is not just surfing. The concept is they're riding the wave of life in a way that they're focused on the good things in life. They're focused on the simple things in life. They're focused on the things that actually matter like good food, time with family and friends, enjoying life, doing wholesome things, uh, getting their hands dirty, knowing how to survive in good times and bad, um, you know, storing up their food for the winter, having good veggies in the garden, beautiful avocados and mangoes and papaya, bananas, you know, stomping grapes in the harvest season, having a huge barrel of their own wine. It's just a beautiful life and beautiful weather and it just helps you be more calm and relaxed and less stressed. All with 21st century infrastructure. We're sitting in a tunnel, we have, I can get on my phone and I can go on the internet. I can use my phone to call California. It's just, to me, it's amazing. You know, you can be relaxed and you can still be connected to the 21st century um, world. The internet, your business, your family, your friends, anywhere in the world. It's pretty awesome. So we just climbed that hill by Cabo Gerau. We're coming down into Campanario. We're gonna hit Rivera Brava. And, and all these places have their own unique charm. You know, we're much higher above the ocean. So like if you have a house here, like my friend Billy, you know, when there's a sunset, man, it's just a huge amount of space. You feel all that, you know, ocean and the sky just lit up you know it's amazing you can see there's some quintas with some aves which are trees and i think that's citrus trees in there but um we have all kinds of gardens just cascading down and what's cool about the eu is you can actually buy a big farm or gardens and get a loan for doing like organic Agriculture. A friend of mine, Walter, he's got an organic farm right in Fushaw. And he'll send out an email saying, these are the things we have this week. We have this many eggs and we have, you know, these bananas and we have these potatoes and we have these sweet potatoes and we have these carrots. And so we have just respond back and say how much of each thing you want. And you come pick it up on a Sunday. You got all the veggies and organic eggs that you want for the week. It's, it's pretty awesome. You know? And then you'll see like brand new modern houses interspersed between like historic kind of rural primitive houses that are made out of stone. 
right? And then you'll see other homes that are modern with air conditioning. And this totally reminds me of when I first moved here. I had an Opal Corsa and uh, I'm just gonna be crazy and go here. This guy's like, so we're probably almost halfway to Jardin de Mar, other than the fact that the, the road is closed and we have to drive all the way up to Pizzetti's and down through Fujada de Vela and Paul de Mar. So, beautiful sun. You come out to the southwest side of the island, there's more sun. Um, Ponte de Sol probably has the best weather on the island, but Jardin de Mar and Paul de Mar are probably more or less equal. Digital nomad villages. They have co-working spaces here and people from all over the world are coming here to work in Madeira. And there, there, there are definitely a lot of digital nomads now in Jardim de Mar, Paul de Mar, Machiku, other places, but the, the government actually created these co-working spaces, kind of like uh, WeWork, right? Right here in Ponte do Sol, because it's kind of centrally located on the island. This is where we always come for some Papa Seco, which is like a type of bread or padrino, I think. The other one's called sliding glass doors from Germany that have like thermal rating so it keeps the heat out and it, it keeps it cool inside the house it's it's just this awesome blend of like a more historical way of life with modern life I, I love the blend of the two it helps you stay relaxed and calm but you also are not sacrificing all the modern amenities pretty awesome one thing about Madeira is you better not be claustrophobic because there's tight spaces and lots of tunnels. <laughs> jump, jump, jump!